no, I was I was born in Pasadena, Texas, way back in the spring of '69. This makes me really old. Raised by hippies, those were my parents. And when I say hippies, I mean 100% hippies. Drugs, alcohol, free love. I spent time in the pokey. <laughs> Many years ago, in the early 90s, I was one of the most wanted in Wisconsin. I was known as an incredibly great safe cracker. Uh, that was my uh, line of work for a while. I had a crew of people that would um, bypass security alarms, go into businesses, and I'd crack the safes open did that for quite a while and then four months after I stopped the police come knocking on the door because the crew didn't stop and then they got caught and started talking so I can honestly say I was one of the people in the world that actually met Jeffrey Dahmer you while, met Jeffrey Dahmer while locked up you met Jeffrey Dahmer I was in the same prison he was in oh my gosh Yes, oh. I saw him every other day, pretty much, handing out towels to people at the rec room. What was he like? He's just quiet. He stayed to himself. I would say about a month, month, month and a half after I got out, went into a halfway house. He was murdered, and so was another guy named Jesse Anderson, who I was actually kind of friends with in the prison system. He was on my softball team. What about for the future? Anything you're oh. hoping to achieve in the future? No. Uh, to move to the Caribbean. That's about it. Why what, do you want to, which is going to happen. Why do you want to move to, to the Caribbean? Uh, just because of the beaches, water, scuba diving. Any final words? <laughs> Depends. I don't know what kind of words you want to hear. Inspirational, bad words. Uh, I was just going to do a Bill and Ted party on, dude. That, that's other than that. That's nothing good. Those are old school movies. You've probably never seen them.